What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to specifically talk about social security, but why? One of the reasons why I want to talk about social security is because I've been getting a lot of questions uh, and comments from people asking, are we going to see changes to social security? And the answer is yes. We are going to see changes. However, are they going to be beneficial to social security recipients? Are they going to be beneficial to the Social Security Administration? Or are they actually going to be a negative? Well, that's what I want to discuss. Because there is something that lawmakers are talking about. These are discussions. These are not bills. There's no legislation yet. But this is what lawmakers are discussing. Lawmakers want to see a change to the way Social Security benefits are actually calculated. So this would mean the change to the formula. Now. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but how are Social Security benefits calculated? First off, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because, for one, I don't even fully understand it. They use different formulas and percentages, and they have a whole you know equation that you have to fully understand. And again, this guy right here does not fully understand it. Okay, I don't think many people do, but. Here's the facts. The facts are that lawmakers believe Social Security is using the wrong calculation. And the reason why is because of this. Social Security currently uses the average uh, index monthly earnings over 35 years. Do you know when most people start working? They start working about the age of 20, okay? So if you add on 35 years from 20, that gets you to 55. Do you know when people start collecting benefits? The earliest is 62. That's a seven year gap. You know when the average person collects benefits? Well, it's not till almost 65. That's a problem. The Right now, the average wages, okay, and again, this is, this is where I think a lot of people struggle with this, is that the average wages for the years in which your, your wages were the highest, that's what's used to calculate your, your average monthly benefit. Yeah, okay, well, how do you know how to get to that number? Well, this is where you need to use the Social Security Administration, because again, you can go back 35 years, pull out all your figures, run through the, the numbers, run through the math, but is that what the Social Security Administration has? Well, that's where things get a little tricky, and this is why some say we need to give more money to the Social Security Administration, because this is why they are slow. Well. Here's something else. Lawmakers say that the old way of calculating the Social Security or Social Security payments is not the right way. We need to change it, and here's why. During your 20s and 30s, you tend to actually make less money. These are known as your prep years. And then when you are 40 and 50, these are your peak earning years for full-time workers. Now, when you factor in 35 years of earnings and being that the average person starts collecting benefits at age 64.7 uh, this means you would have 10 years of prep years added into your calculation of peak years this is why lawmakers say we need to move away from this move away from this formula move away from our current calculations because they are not working now how would a change help? Because I know this is what a lot of people are asking. Well, many lawmakers say that we need to consider changes to Social Security. And just understand that this change may never happen, okay? Even though many people want it to happen, this may never happen. And the reason why it may never happen is because they wanna go from taking the, the, the highest 35 years of, of your earnings right and taking this and switching it to the maximum of 35 years of actual work years now what's the difference well here's here's the difference if you start working at age 20 okay you work for 10 years and then let's say you take five years off to raise a child those five years as of right now are still counted yeah if those five years, because again, 35 years of your, your highest earnings, what if zero dollar, what if you only work for 35 years? 
What if you have 15 years of zero earnings? Those get factored into this and they bring your, your benefit amount down. Well, guess what? If you now take out those, those years with zero earnings and you have a maximum of 35 years that you can use, guess what that does? It increases your benefit amount. Yeah. So if you pull out all those years, those uh, 5, 10, 15 years of you or your spouse, you know, raising a child, taking care of a, of a you know, parent, okay? Or maybe you just go and travel or whatever you may do, okay? Maybe you, whatever, it doesn't matter. You won the lottery and you're going to live off of that, okay? These things matter. Now, what you need to keep in mind, though, is that this change... By changing the way the Social Security uh, benefits are, are calculated and changing the formula, the only way this is gonna change, okay, would be if we also see another change. Because this change is going to increase the amount that people receive, okay? So here's where things get very tricky. Right now, the reason why lawmakers are talking about this and not proposing this is because of the other change that we would see that would bring the cost for Social Security down. Again, I just said, by making this change, we would see Social Security costs go up. Well, how do we keep it level? Here's the thing. If we are now changing the, the calculation, which is going to cost more money, in order to bring it back down, we have to do something like raise the full retirement age. If we raise the full retirement age, this is likely going to raise early retirement, right? All the numbers are going to tick up. Again, and I said this. What is the average age that people start collecting Social Security? It's 64.7, almost 65 years old. That is the reason why, because of these little changes. They may be small, but they are big changes, okay? So I just wanted to throw this out there because a lot of people have been messaging me about this, this new formula. That, hey, can I explain the new formula? Explain the new calculation. Honestly, if you understand the formula, you know, try to explain it to me because I've watched many videos. I've, I've gone through the whole, the whole thing on the Social Security Administration website to understand exactly how it works. And there's so many different variables, this and that, and when you go and, and when you go and collect benefits, again, it's tough to follow, but at the same time, the benefit amount matters. Okay. So just wanted to fill you in on what's going on regarding Social Security because as of right now, Social Security is still a very important topic. However, it's not the most important topic. As of right now, it's the debt ceiling. And so I just want to be 100% honest with you guys. The debt ceiling and what we see happen from that will impact Social Security. So as we get more information as to what is going on and how you could potentially be impacted, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. All you got to do is click that subscribe button so you never miss an update, and I will see you guys on the next one.